Hey everyone, my name is Root and we are here. This is going to be week number five of the APA Academy. And last week uh, was a really, really stressful matchup. We got our first win though. And now we are up against uh, somebody. Okay, we're up against Lantern Joe. And this is a really, really scary matchup for me overall. So we do see the Dracovish Braviary, Jirachi, Venusaur, Lantern. His name is Lantern Joe. But I meant to say um, Jolteon and Arcanine. So I think I pretty much called everything correctly, except I'm very surprised that the Braviary came over the Runa Regis. The Runa Regis stopped a lot of what I was trying to do in this matchup. So this is going to be really interesting. Um, I don't quite know how to lead. He might want to just lead off with the Dracovish. Um, this will be the debut of Pharaoh Seed, uh, in fact, but I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. I mean, Rotom lead, Rotom lead has been a pretty standard lead for me all season long, but at the same time, so Volley lead might be huge. Oh, no Alcremie as well. I packed Aquaberry just to be able to take a max flare. Um, yeah, I think Rotom lead is going to be how I want to do this overall, but... Yeah, overall, I, I mean, I don't feel the worst about how I match up. I do have a Savali flying because I really don't have many good answers for the Venusaur. And um, just defensively, I have the the uh, Drampa, a specially defensive Drampa for the Jolteon and the Venusaur because I really don't match up with them terribly well. Uh, not the worst, just not well. And it's going to help me out quite a bit. And I need to figure out this. Um, I also didn't screenshot the team, but I... Well, before that, I need to figure out this damage calc situation. Now, it does lead off with the Braviary. Uh, definitely an interesting lead. He might have thought that I was leading off with uh, Ferro Seed, but I am definitely saving Ferro Seed for only when uh, I see a Dracovish on the field. I'm going to take... Man, I'm probably going to take it a whole last minute off the clock, but I really do have to... Make sure that this calc is sorted, and I think I have time to get a screenshot of the team. Nope, I believe it's here. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. I will try to make sure that I click my next move quicker, but I think this is a very easy volt switch for me. Uh, it does go for the U-turn, so that's totally fine. It does that speed me, so it is um pretty darn fast. Um... Yeah, I'm very curious to know what he what he comes in with. Doesn't have a ground type. Well, he does have the 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 immunity with Jolteon, um, but I'm not the most afraid of Jolteon because of the Drampa and because partially, I don't know. Rotom can deal with it. I think Rotom is very specially defensive, but I do want to save it for things like the Venusaur. Does go out into the Arcanine straight away, so getting chip damage onto the Arcanine is going to be huge for me overall. I think it's going to be pretty darn huge for me. But, yeah, I'm pretty positive that is a defensive Arcanine. Physically defensive, I should say. But now... Now I feel like there's no reason to want to predict anything. I mean, okay, so fair enough. I, I, I could try to predict in the, Ven the Venusaur coming in and go for some sort of an Ice Beam or... I believe I have, I have Air Slash on this as well. But the point is that I am threatening damage. But I think U-Turn is going to be overall the better play. And U-Turn is especially solid because it allows in my Silvali to kind of spread around damage with... With... Mm -hmm. I really do want to Ice Beam, but that is admittedly pretty risky. The best thing he would have to hit me with is Wild Charge. Yeah, no, I think, I think this is reasonably safe. Especially seeing... Well, that damage makes me think that this is also pretty defensive as well. So I guess I'm just making a straight up read. Uh, I don't remember. I, I, I've watched a few of his matches and I don't 100% uh, remember all, all the nicknames. But we do try to make a read here with the Ice Beam. And getting this thing out of the way early would be humongous for us. Um, this is a lot of damage and it is definitely a 2 at KO. Which is very encouraging. But uh, I believe that should be a, that should be just a straight up offensive Arcanine. If I'm not mistaken, is that just no bulk Arcanine? Um, regardless, I think I have to click Ice Beam again. Regardless, I think I have to play off of this read here um, and commit to it. Does let me take out the Venusaur now? That is, again, that is so very very huge. That is remarkably huge. But also, where is um 
My Rotom Heat. Yeah. Yeah, that might just be a complete no bulk. A complete no bulk. Um, Arcanine because of that Volt Switch damage. I think it might just be an, an offensive. Uh, but yeah, this this one's a pretty easy one for me. Uh, Drompa's kind of a dedicated switch in for this. It, it was supposed to also handle the Venusaur as well, but again, thankfully we made that call there. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm I have to manage so much here. Um, Volt Switch, that is a very, very strong play. Um, that was a crit too on my Drompa, but what would he want to bring? Uh, a very possible play would be close combat on the Arcanine, as well as, um, oh, a lot of mods have, have a solid matchup against me, but, um, I think I can play off of whatever he wants to bring in here. Uh, honestly, I could see close combat from Breviary. I could see just going for, going for it in terms of outrage on, on Dracovish, but... Again, this fair seed is never going to hit the field unless the Dracovish is out there. And if it is, then I can start. Okay, Man, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should, I should um try and make things happen with my Pharaoh seed here as well. Because I, I mean, the thing is, Fire Punch would be such a bananas play here that I have to feel like somewhat confident making this play and uh. I think a free rocks might be wow, Aura Sphere is a fantastic play. Yeah, no, that is that is a very, very good play. I have to have to switch out. That was a huge, huge misplay on my part. But I can go into my Sovali, I can resist the hit, and I can parting shot out no matter what happens. I think I'll be reasonably okay here. Although I the Unfortunate part is that I'm not going to get to know whether or not this uh, this thing is scarfed until um, the following turn when I am able to farting shot in uh, or out of this um, interaction here. And that would be pretty huge for me to know, I think. Um, I don't even remember. I believe this, is, this should be a specially defensive. It looks specially defensive to me, but I don't 100% remember. Um, or no, I think this is actually just offensive. I think this is actually just straight up offensive. Is it though? Is that correct? Yeah, I have enough speed to outspeed um, Max Speed Venusaur and Max Attack Adamant, actually. But I think this is a reasonable parting shot here. I think this is a reasonable parting shot here. Does go for the U turn, so okay, okay. Looking solid, looking solid. And I could definitely imagine the Jolteon wanting to come in. If the Jolteon does come in. If the Jolteon does come in, then I, it could be, huh, if the Jolteon does come in, then it's probably just, um, drop a for me. It's probably just drop a for me. And he can very easily Volt Switch out. He can easily Volt Switch out. But... A Volt Switch would mean a pretty strong Hyper Voice for me. Or I could I could expect the the Jirachi to want to come back in and I could fire off a Fire Blast here. I could fire off a Fire Blast here as well. And I think I might want to take that. I think I might want to take that. He could just expect the Dragon Stab, but regardless, um, Jirachi resists both of my stabs, so... I think it's going to be difficult for him to want to make any other play, right? Because every other Mon takes pretty big damage from a potential uh, drop a Hyper Voice or drop a Dragon Pulse, drop a Draco. Goes into the Braviary. That's interesting. I'm very curious to know if this thing, if this thing is does pack the close combat. I mean, maybe I take one, but regardless, I think Hyper Voice... Well, first of all, I'm, I'm Berserk, so... Yeah, Hyper Voice at plus one. I think I, I think I don't even need plus one because Stab... Uh, the, the difference with Stab should do it, but I don't take one. I straight up do not take one. Was that a crit at all? No, that was just a very, very strong hit. Okay, okay. I am reasonably fear... Um, fearful that this thing is scarfed. 
So I think I might just want to go into this thing. I believe, I believe Breviary is also base 80. Um, and this speed covers max speed Breviary and max speed Venusaur. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, so I think I just click multi attack. I think I just, I think I just click multi attack flying. And if he does want to go into the Jirachi, then I can probably take a hit. The, okay. So it is not, um, it is not scarfed at all. Uh, it's Rocky Helmet, actually. That's very, very interesting to me. But, so Vali does pick up a KO, and getting the Braviary out of the way is also very, very huge. Not having Drompa is admittedly pretty problematic now, because uh, that Jolteon is going to be a bit of an issue for me. Um, granted, Rotom can be a saving grace here. Rotom can absolutely be a saving grace here. And... Huh. How do I want to play this? If I go into Rotom, then he goes into Dracovish. If he, he Volt Switches into Dracovish. And then... Okay, so these are accounts that I don't 100% know, but I'm very, very curious to know. What is Scarf, uh, Scarfed Dracovish? Does go for the Thunderbolt. So that is pretty huge for me, I think. That is doing very little damage. So I do want to take a risk and go for a Volt Switch. But I think getting some damage off into the Dracovish and getting in Ferro Seed for absolutely free would be um, legitimately huge in this interaction. I think it's worth the risk here. I think it's absolutely worth the risk here. But I'm, I'm very curious to know what a Scarf Dracovish is doing to a Melmetal, right? So if I am in, in a situation where Melmetal has to take a hit from the Dracovish... It looks like we can do it, just not terribly well. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. So that's unfortunate. But, um, yeah, it looks like even Facade isn't doing a whole heck of a lot. So we did take a risk, and it did not pan out for us. But, um, I think... How do I manage this? How do I manage this? I could Nasty Plot up. And then... And then go for an overheat. Is that even worth it at this point? I think it is. I think really, yeah. Yeah, the most value I'm going to get out of this Rotom is going to be dealing with, with this thing. And potentially being able to, be, being able to Volt Switch out on on Arcanine. Um, if this thing is out of the way, then... That was, that was a special defense drop. That's pretty bad as far as bad things go. But that does a lot of damage. And can I switch anything in on this Shadow Ball? Can I switch any? I really can't. I really, truly cannot. I, but, but I potentially lose to this thing if I don't. I could sack Silvali, which sounds awful, but I don't think there's... Yeah, I guess Silvali isn't really doing anything for the rest of the match anyway. And I really need Rotom to deal with this. Every mon that's left on my feel on my side uh, has to do something specific. Maybe, mm, maybe this is the play because I don't see this thing having a terribly specific role. And as long as I don't get too KO'd, which I don't think I do in this situation, um, this looks like as okay goes for the volt switch. That's very, very interesting to me. Was that a crit? That was a crit. Okay. Um. Can definitely go into the Arcanine. Can definitely, definitely go into the Arcanine. If it, if he does, then I think, I think I just hit the Arcanine, right? I probably just hit it with an Earthquake. Um, because I do have the Aquaberry. I can hit it back reasonably hard. I can, I, I mean, if anything, I can threaten it out with. Even something like Silvali, right? Because Silvali is... Does go for the Fire Blast. We do have the Aquaberry. Hopefully this means that we can take a hit. But it does not. Okay. Um, Yeah, this is overall pretty not great. But overall, it's Life Orbs. Overall, um, I never really had the best answers to Dracovish. So I had to build this in a very uh, interesting way. And again, he brought a lot of things that I was not expecting. But... It doesn't mean this is over by any stretch. I think... I think I can just Scald here, net myself a KO, and then... From there, it allows in the Jolteon, right? But... I think... 
I think the way that this happens is I would if the Jolteon comes in, I would have to sack off the Silvali. I would have to sack off the Silvali. And then and then I bring in the I bring in the Rotom. I overheat KO. It invites in the Dracovish. I, I probably sack off the Dracovish, bring in, bring in the Ferris Seed, click Leech Seed, and then attempt to make things happen from there. I think that's my path. I think that's my path. But I have to not run out, run out of resources before that happens. I have to not run out of resources before that happens. And yeah, like I said, I, I think I have to just sack off this Silvali here. I misplayed around a lot of things. Um, and it honestly... I'm honestly being bailed out by the fact that I did make an okay Ice Beam um, call in, in the beginning. But overall, I made some pretty bad reads overall. So, the other thing is that the Venusaur was such an issue for me that I felt like I had to bring... Um, I felt like I had to bring Drampa over Quagsire when Quagsire was a hard wall to the... To the... To the Jolteon. And... Yeah, in comes Rotom. Switching out would be... He could switch it, switch out into Dracovish, but then he... Would be in an interesting spot. I don't... I, I think he would be as wary of... Of bringing in... Dracovish before... Certain things, like the... Like the... I should have clicked Shadow Ball, shouldn't I have? Um, he might be wary of bringing the Dracovish before the Pharisee, uh, goes down, but does go for the Volt Switch, which is, uh, this is, a, this is an easy Dracovish for him. This is a very, very easy Dracovish for him, which actually probably means that I have to sack off the, that I have to sack off the Inteleon. Yeah, I made some massive misplays. I'm not happy with, uh, how a lot of this went down. But he could also be considering the fact that I... Yeah, it does go into this thing. I mean, we could get an overheat burn, right? I, I believe that's a thing. But... Um, overall, I see, I, I, I don't think Ferro Seed switches into this. So I think I have to... Well, no, I can't sack this thing off because I need to be able to, de to deal with the Jolteon later on. So I think I have to sack off... I think I have to sack off... Um, Inteleon. Right? Is that my path? I think it might be. I really wanted the Inteleon because it's it is the probably the best way of answering the the Jirachi, but I don't think there's any way around this around this way that I have to do this. Now this thing now again, this thing is almost definitely scarf, so I don't think um, this interaction never really mattered, but um, I have to play as well as I can around th with this Ferro Seed around this Dracovish. And if this Ferro Seed can pull it out, then obviously I made the right calls. But I, it's very, very possible that I should not have brought Fer Ferro Seed and I should have just brought Quagsire instead. But the best play is just going to be to click Leech Seed. Whenever this, this Ferro Seed is out, um, the obvious place is just click Leech Seed. Um, oof. We take that okay. We actually take that worse than I expected us to. But... We'll get the Leech Heat off. Hopefully... We might have to protect a few times. That is a lot a lot stronger of a Fish's Friend than I expected it to be. But we might have to bank on a double protect, to be completely fair. Uh, what is this? What is a Scarf Dracovish? Um, Adamant Scarf Dracovish to Pharisee. Okay, Fish's Friend should be maxing out at 57 points of damage. Unless I'm seeing this wrong, I believe it maxes out at 57 points of damage. So, I don't know. I don't know. Let's withdraw. 
goes into Jirachi. Now, I don't think... I don't particularly think this thing can touch. Um... This thing... Yeah, I saw the type of damage that Aurasphere was doing earlier. But... This is not good. I think we lose. I think that switch causes us to lose. I think I had to click Leech Seed. I, th I think I had to make a call there and click Leech Seed again. But this thing could be super defensive if it's... Ugh, that is pretty much right on the cusp. I think we just lose this outright. Oh, this is bad. Is there anything I can do? I guess overheat crit, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think that just takes us out, and Jirachi's gonna get the last two KOs. So, it doesn't take us out, so maybe we get one extra KO, but... The thing is, I really... I really need Ferrisie to do a lot here. And I almost did pack Protect on, on, on Rotom as well. If I pro if I did have the Protect, then that potentially also did it for us. But I think the only... My, my only only chance would be to... Would be to probably click Leech Seed on, on Bearer Seed. And... No, I don't think there's a chance. If I were to take hit super duper well from the Jolteon, then maybe, but, uh... There's a lot that I did wrong here. I should... I thought Ferrisseed was my answer to, to, to that Dracovish, but ultimately, I think, uh... I, I think Quagsire would've, would've, would've won it for me here. Um, hmm. I don't think we take an Aura Sphere. I think this is gonna be the last turn. It goes for a Wish. That is very, very interesting to me. But if this thing gets HP back, then... Okay. He will probably try to pass a Wish off, perhaps to the Jolteon. Even though... I don't know. Oh. Let's go for the Aura Sphere. I think, it, I think that was just securing the victory. But if I was able to get the Leech Seed off and protect, then this would look like a very... Very, very, um, different matchup, I think. Does get the wish back, but I think just a few aura spheres, and there's no, and I have no real counterplay to this anymore. Uh, unfortunately, this is going to be a prolonged endgame, but like I said, I I thought that, um, this could be as good of a Dracovish answer as I could come up with, but the Venusaur made it super difficult to justify breaking Quagsire. When I thought this could at least um, cause some interesting, I think he switches out. I think I think I, I think I tried to make a risky play here. No, that's I, that should be the final turn of the game, I believe. I could have clicked protect and I could have maybe t taken another one, but ultimately, I think that was going to be the last turn regardless. Uh, that was a really disappointing loss, only because um, I was scared out of the better bring. I think if I had the Quagsire, Quagsire absolutely does what he needs to do for me um the last three mods on his team don't touch my Sire, and i think i would have gotten there but i got scared i got scared away by the venusaur i thought um i thought also hazard stacking would be an answer here but the fact that i can never reliably find an, a, an opportunity to get the ferro seed in and do what it needs to do i think really really hurt me there and like i said i i tried something uh it definitely didn't work out but um that's going to be week five. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll both end this week at one and four, but we'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the AP Academy. But the UBL playoffs, playoffs should be up, I believe, and more weeks of the NCP Nimbus division and another brand new draft league coming up really, really soon. But once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be once again out.